Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the Text Texture op. I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Okay, great, let's get started. Let's say that I want to get some text inside of the render view here. It's a really easy way to do it. So I'm going to type in text, and this op generates a texture which reads text. So I'm just going to add it. This needs to be plugged into a material because it outputs a texture. So I'm now going to move this over here. And as you can see, we've got the word cables and it's pretty small. So first of all, I can make this bigger by increasing the font size. If I want to have um, the quality a little bit sharper, 512 is pretty good. You can go overboard and say 2048 by 2048. Um, and then I'll have to make my font size bigger. We also have an option maximize size, which will always make the text fit within a unit of one, but then the font size here doesn't work anymore. So if I want to edit the text, I just click edit. So here I'm going to type cables for the win and click save. Now the text appears like this. If I would like it to be multi-line, I can just do that inside of the editor here and click save. And now we have this. And this is where we can now use different alignment options. So we can pick here center, left, or right. Let's put it back to the center. And the vertical line, top, center, bottom. So I'm going to put this back to center. Uh, we have line distance, so you can increase the distance between the words. As you can see, I'm going outside of this cube. And we've got a nice little way to visualize that cube now. We can put a border around the text, as you can see. So I'm going to put this in like 30. And I'm going to put the line distance less. And I want to have manual control over how far away it is from the side. So I'll just do this. If I now close the editor and go to the transform up and rotate this, say by 34 degrees and do this, you can now see that we have the text as a texture, which is applied to a basic material, which is on all sides of the cube. Um, this op supports any fonts that your browser supports. Um, to find out what those are, you'll have to uh, Google this, uh, as I don't have enough time to cover that in this tutorial. I hope this tutorial has been handy for you and that you've learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.